and from is a Lenovo Tab 4 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of this tablet. So anyway, when you boot it up for the first time you'll be presented with the welcoming screen, so simply choose your language right here and then go to the next page. This will uh, welcome you to your Lenovo TB8504F. Um, so yeah, now in here you can set up if you want to copy data from your old device or set it up as new, which is what I'm going to be choosing right here. And then this takes us to the next page that allows us to connect to uh, some kind of Wi-Fi. Now you can obviously skip this if you don't want to. Uh, by doing so you will uh, lose the ability to log into your Google account throughout the setup process, but that can be changed later on after the setup is complete anyway. And additionally, uh, date and time will most likely not be set correctly because it won't be getting the data from the net, it will just kind of give you a page uh, allowing you to fix it up if it's not right. So I'm going to select right here so to don't use uh, any network to set up. Then we have Google services, we have things like location, scanning, sending user and diagnostic data. Uh, obviously going really briefly into uh, those three different options, um, the location is just GPS tracking. Uh, location uh, or improved location accuracy which is scanning allows the device to look for like device uh, or signals like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and then below that we have uh, send system data now nowadays it's called uh, sending user and diagnostic data uh, which in both cases it just doesn't sound good because you're sending your own data to Google uh, it's just kind of spy uh, spyware kind of thing and kind of creepy to share your data with Google so I'm going to disable this and go to the next page. Now this page is kind of useless. It just allows us to add a name uh, to our device. If you choose to leave it empty, it's just going to name itself. Uh, so in this case, it was like the Lenovo TB850 something, whatever it was. Either that or it will just take a name like Lenovo Tab 4. Um, obviously, if you choose to uh, put something in here, it's going to use that instead. Now the the places that it uses the, these names is and things like hotspot and Bluetooth devices. Those will be the two places where you can see the name of your device and depending on what you put here that's what's going to be visible. Next page we have protect your tablet allows us to set up some kind of screen lock, pin, pattern, password or nothing. Obviously if you want to protect it set something up, uh, choose whichever one you want. If you don't care select not now to skip it. We have a Lenovo ID, so create a Lenovo uh, ID to retrieve a personalized experience and service. Uh, that is the most vague uh, info to why I would want to create a Lenovo ID that I have ever seen. Doesn't really compel me to do so, so I'm just gonna skip this. License agreement. Now obviously no phone can go without uh, agreeing to some kind of terms of use, so obviously you need to read those, or well, you don't need to, but uh, you are are required to agree to them, so it might be handy sometimes to know what you're agreeing to. You have user experience programs. Uh, now, just as before, uh, user experience programs is just like the Google uh, data gathering trash, uh, but this is from Lenovo, so no thanks. Anything else? Uh, review additional apps and add an email address or account. Uh, now obviously if you want to add your account it will go back to Wi-Fi connection because you need network for this. So I'm going to select all set. Multi-user uh, allows me to set up additional users if I want to but no thanks. I'm just going to finish it up and get presented with the home screen finishing it up the setup. So if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.